hey guys welcome back to my channel we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in all right um so i'm gonna go ahead and part my hair off into four sections and then um try to get it as straight as possible you know what i'm saying but you know however it comes out it comes out because your girl can't see so i did my best um so go ahead i'm gonna straighten straighten what am i talking about i'm going to section that off into four sections and then uh i'll be right back got this from Amazon I will leave the link below I actually it tells you how many it tells you how many pieces um you get because they have it all sectioned off for you already um so before I go in I'm gonna make sure that I have enough pieces because it tells you how many braids you'll be able to make do with them so I gotta go back on Amazon and read the description one more time to make sure that I have enough hair so it is 22 strands per pack. So in this pack, each um, thing, I'll just open it. I can show you guys. So, so there are seven of these. And in each one of these, there are 22 strands. Um, so I'm going to take out one strand just to see how big it is. Or how thick each strand is. So this is what it's look, it looks like. It's so bouncy. I love it. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and part it. Okay. I can walk with it. Okay. I'm going to take my Rosemary Mint Edge Gel. And I'm going to go ahead and basically just put it on here. On the entire hair. I can get it all smoothed into the rubber band. Okay, so I'm just going to take out each rubber band as I go. Oh, she's slipping. Huh? I had my rubber band soaking in extra virgin olive oil from the day before, so that's why that is, um, it looks oily. Okay, so I had to go off of camera to figure out how to do this. Now, I have done my hair in box braids and twists and everything before, but I've never worked with this kind, this like, what I think it's called water wave kind of hair for passion twists. I've worked with Marley hair, um, regular Kanakalon hair for box braids. I've done that before. So this was like a learning curve for me. So in the beginning, my hair was looking crazy. It didn't look like twist. They just looked like curl. I don't know, but that's because I was twisting it the wrong way. So with this hair, you have to twist it in a certain direction. So for me, I had to twist all of them going backwards like that. So that's number one. So it took me a while to figure that out. I was literally like, I had to go on YouTube to figure out like, yo, why is mine looking like trash um and i mean then no one told me that i literally just had to figure it out for myself um then the rubber bands i don't i'm not gonna continue with the rubber bands so as i go i'm gonna take them out and i'm gonna braid it and then loop it through because the method that i'm going for or the look that i'm going for is like a almost like a seamless like like a knotless braid look um but you can see the rubber bands through the braids like it's not the braids aren't concealing the rubber band so you can see the rubber band right there so yeah that's not cute so what i did was i went and i did i redid these two just to see if it would work out um and i just braided so i took the rubber band out and i braided the just this section that the rubber band is at and then I looped it through with the needle and then I just twisted it. And this is 
what it looks like. It looks a lot better, so much more seamless. So I'm gonna be removing the rubber bands from these. The ones that are already in, I'm not gonna take them out right now. I just wanna finish my hair because chat is taking it all day. So like, as I go, I'm gonna finish my head and then maybe I'll go back in and take out the rubber bands and redo those. But for now, I literally just wanna be done with my hair. So um, that's that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and braid that little section there. A quick tip, braid your hair further down than I actually braided it in this clip. Um, just because it will help the, the extension to actually stay in your hair properly and it won't get loose. So that's a tip. Um, I actually did that for the other sections. So go ahead, put the, the what is that called? The crochet needle in. You're gonna hook the hair on the hook, then you close the latch, and then you pull it through. And once you pull it through, you wanna make sure that it's like, you know, a little even at the end so you don't have to borrow hair. And then you just go ahead and twist. All right, as you're going, you wanna add your edge control, your jam, your gel, your beeswax, whatever it is that you're using to smooth your hair into the extension. You wanna go ahead and use that so that way it's not frizzy and your hair is not peeking out. You wanna use it to blend your hair into the, um, the extension. 